Hey, I'm here with my daughter Amber, and we're getting ready to watch the brand new trailer for Mary Poppins Returns, and we are excited. So this trailer is actually on Disney's official site. If you want to see it, I will have a link in the description below. If you're hearing some weird clawing noises, that's just my dog running around annoying me. Because she's good at that. Because she's a puppy. <laughs> we are excited. My wife and daughter are both huge Mary Poppins fans. Um, I remember the movie growing up as a kid. So this will be pretty cool. And I know you said that you were kind of looking forward to this a little bit. I'm a big fan of the books, and like, I mean, Mary Poppins is a totally different character in the books and movies, but I'd like to see how they adapt the sequel for the for the next books, because there's at least three books or four in the series. Yeah. And we haven't seen this trailer at all yet, so the trailer is going to be in the screen, like, right there for you, um, and I'll play a little snippet, and then we might talk about it, and then we may play a little more, and we'll kind of see what we've got coming up here. So... Are you excited? I hope you're excited. I'm excited. So it's right there. Let me try and move over so I'm not in the way. <laughs> it's muted. Oh, you know what? It's really terrible when I can't even control my own sound. There we go. Bloopers on live video. Yep. I honestly can't remember why we kept most of this stuff to begin with. Don't you remember that kite? We used to love flying that with mother and father. Those days are long behind me. So I'm assuming that this is the kids. This is very different from the books. The and books were all about the kids, so this must be completely after the books. So the kids, I'm guessing, have grown up, and now at least the brother's wanting to throw away his childhood. He doesn't want to go fly a kite anymore. Shame on him. Kind of like the Lost Boys at the end of Peter Pan, all forgetting about it. I, I do kind of hope, though, that it doesn't follow the same trope that a lot of them do. That kid is has a wonderful childhood, kid grows up, forgets what it means to be a child, and has to get reminded by something from his childhood. Yeah, I mean, we just did that again with Winnie the Pooh. Please don't do that with Mary Poppins. But, hey, let's watch more and see what we get. <laughs> I live and breathe. I was flying the coast and I got caught on a nanny. Mary. Poppins. Who came back? You seem hardly to have aged at all. Really? One never discusses a woman's age, Michael. Would have hoped I taught you better. Okay, that's hilarious because that is so like what I would see Mary Poppins saying and doing. They well. got her actress good. She's not Julie Andrews because she can't be anymore, but she looks good for Mary Poppins. Yes, she does. I'm trying to remember who it is starring in it. I'm sure it'll tell us in the trailer. I know, and I'm just going blank. Are the brother and sister just living together as parents now? I don't know. Well, you saw somebody else flying the kite with the kids, so I'm guessing that's sister's husband, and maybe mm -hmm. brother's visiting the old home. He looked younger than the brother. Yeah. I was thinking he was older brother. Wait, well, there's only one brother and sister. She no, got older old? brother of the kid. Oh, okay. Eh, maybe. Christmas. I like Christmas. What brings you here after all this time? Same thing that brought me the first time. I've come to look after the bank's children. Us? Oh, yes, you too. <laughs> Gee, so um, which bank's children does, do you think she's actually looking after? I mean, that's pretty obvious. Yeah. So... When you lose your way. Okay, now we, it does look like it's kind of following the same trope. Ah. We're about to lose our home. Everything's fallen to pieces since your mother. Oh, that's why they're going to Okay. So, apparently he's widowed. Lost wife. Which means, I do think that the older guy that was flying the kite then was probably her husband. Nothing's gone forever, only out of place. It's a good thing you come along when you did, Mary Poppins. How'd you do that? Do what? Yeah, 
Yeah, but it can't be Bert, though, because Bert will still have aged. Well, unless... I mean, in the books, Bert was kind of ageless with her. He always popped up doing random magical things with her. And he knew about all the weird magical stuff she did. And he knew, knew how about to it, it, but he wasn't magical himself. So Bert still should have aged, and this guy is definitely about the same age Bert would have been. Did you read the books? I've never read the books, and this well, isn't then, a book, it's a movie. But it's based on the books. <clears throat> I say Bert's magical and immortal like her. Just not as magical as her. So then he's a face changer, because he doesn't look like himself. So is she. <laughs> so you've been off filling the children's heads with stuff and nonsense. You've yes, forgotten what it's that. like to be a child. Okay, I'm going to go back just a bit here. Just do this. See, oh, stop showing seconds. off your knowledge. You never use those buttons when I tell you about them. No, I don't have to. So you've been off filling the children's heads with stuff and nonsense. You've forgotten what it's like to be a child. That's Angela Lansbury. Murder, She Wrote, but she was also in Bedknobs and Broomsticks, which is a classic Disney movie. I've so, never seen it. But never even heard of it. She's been in a number of Disney movies, so that's kind of neat. Neat to see her at least making a cameo appearance in here. So... <laughs> Emily Blunt. Okay, that's who I knew I was. They would tell us. So it'd be interesting to see how well she can sing and carry it on. So far, it looks hey, pretty look, good. He's by his chalk drawings. It's Bert. I wish I'd see if it actually was Bert. It was like Bert's friend. <laughs> There's Bert. No, I think that's supposed to be the bank guy. He's cameoing as the bank leader. He's Bert. He's got the carnation. He's Bert. And the, the suit and the glasses. I don't care. He will always be beard. Bert. He rules as Bert. He's not Bert anymore. He's Bert. He's the bank guy. Bert. Everything is possible. I love the impossible. Bird. Okay. Wow, this definitely looks like it's going to be interesting. It's either going to be really good or really disappointing. That's usually how it goes. I'm, I'm looking, and it does look like they've taken, like I said, the familiar, you've forgotten your childhood, let's remind you what it means to be a child, kind of thing. But it looks like they may have actually really brought back the Mary Poppins stuff with it, too. I really hope they use some characters from the book, because they used a couple in the first movie, but they ignored the vast majority of them book nerd gets it from me and her mom. There were some really interesting characters. There was like a little couple made of wood who made animals and they lived in a big wood ark. And it was all wood animals. Yeah. And there were a lot of other cool characters. So it should be cool. Um, I'm trying to remember. Let's see. What was the date? They said December 19th. So if you're wanting to go see it, December 19th, yes, we will definitely go see this one. And we'll probably do some sort of review or something after we see it and let you know what we think. But um, I, I would say it's definitely on the must-see list right now, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So, And my wife will agree because she's also a Mary Poppins fan. She just can't be here right now. Mm -hmm. What about you, Ginger? Do you agree? Raise your paw if you agree. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a little look at Mary Poppins Returns and our thoughts about it. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear it in the comments below. And is there another movie that you are anxiously awaiting in the future? Hear about that too. Thanks so much for watching and have an awesome day.